Hello there, kia ora. There's an old adage in news that if you have to deliver bad news, dump it on a Friday. It's actually called the Friday dump. And this government is getting really good at it because of how often they tend to deliver shitty news or make a stupid gaffe on a Friday. And this Friday was no exception. What should have been actually a pretty low-key announcement, the naming of the new Human Rights and Race Relations Commissioners, was another example of a Friday dump. The new Human Rights Commissioner is a longtime advocate for the gay community, who doesn't believe trans people should be treated like everyone else. And the new Race Relations Commissioner raised funds for the alt-right and white nationalists Lauren Southern and Stefan Molyneux to come to New Zealand, use Auckland Council venues to tell people that Muslims are coming to replace them in absolutely everything. It's actually called the Great Replacement Theory. Yeah, she decided she wanted to hear what they had to say. She doesn't believe in systemic racism, also doesn't believe that trans people should be treated like people. She's spoken at things like Posey Parker's rally and was a founding member of the Free Speech Union. Now look, obviously to most people who aren't absolutely awful, these are not the sort of people you'd want in those roles. They clearly bring to the table preconceived notions that include harmful beliefs against specific communities which is not something that those commissions are supposed to do. So Justice Minister Paul Goldsmith, who appoints these roles, released the news on Friday afternoon. Added into the mix, though, was a great example of the sort of gaffe that we've come to expect from our Prime Minister, claiming that 88% of 12-year-old Māori are illiterate. You know, what we're doing with respect to mathematics, you know, when you have 88% of Māori kids at year 8 unable to read, those are the things and the conversations that we've been getting into. Well, Just on the five which you mentioned during a stand-up with the press in Australia that got literally no pushback from our media. It's an unqualified comment where there's no data to back it up because all the data contradicts it. And it's the sort of thing that gets jumped on and amplified by those wanting to revel in their racism. In the pre-social media days, the Friday dump was something that would kind of lead to a story dying a quiet death because newsrooms run on a skeleton staff over the weekend and much of the content for things like newspapers that was released over the weekend was pre-made filler like longer investigation pieces classified ads in-depth sports recaps from the week and entertainment news then being able to investigate further was really difficult because a lot of the people involved just don't work weekends Last week, the Friday dump included massive increases in visa costs to immigration. The admission that the construction sector is the worst it's seen since the mid-80s. The week before that, it was the conclusion of the response to the March 15 Royal Commission recommendations where the government chose to drop the last of them. They've included over the last couple of months their PR piss take, that's the pothole repair fund being rolled out, the extension of the New Zealand Defence Forces service in the Red Sea, Simeon Brown's war on road cones, and his binning of the Future for Local Government report. But there is actually a way that it can be combated thanks to how we've changed the way that we connect and communicate since, well, about 20 years ago. With the interconnection social media provides, news doesn't have to stay limited to what gets published on specific days. So something as simple as liking a news story or sharing posts helps feed the algorithms that gets the news dumped on the doldrums on for Friday cycle out to far more people with exponential reach. By using the tools we have at our fingertips, we can make sure that the unpopular news items, like having a couple of anti-trans people in charge of commissions meant to be politically neutral, get seen by as many people as possible.